This is ETV, entertainment television, everywhere in the Treasure Valley. Brought to you by Boise Weekly, Citadel Radio, The Record Exchange, and KBOI TV2. Hello there, and welcome to ETV. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. And this week, we're going to take a look at health and wellness. But first, it's time to find out about all the cool events coming into town. And to tell us more about it, from the Boise Weekly, it's Tara Morgan. How you doing? Pretty excellent. How are you, Brad? I'm thrilled, because I heard the circus is coming to town. It sure is. <laughs> uh, but first, I'm going to fill you in on a couple other events that are happening. Uh, so starting off on Thursday, uh, there's a really neat art talk going on at the Linden Building. It's their current exhibit uh, by artist Bill Blad, and he's going to be giving... Uh, an artist discussion about all of his work, um, which is sort of on uh, soldier themes. So there's going to be a panel of U.S. veterans there to answer questions as well. That's really interesting stuff. Yeah, totally. So that's at 5.30 p.m. at the Linen Building. Sounds great. Yeah, um, and then coming up on Friday, it's the Main Street Mile, which is an annual uh, fundraiser. It, they say it's a mile for men's health. It's to raise awareness for prostate cancer in men. Uh, so there's um, a bunch of different um, events going on. You can do the Mayor's Mile, the Open Mile, or the Beauty and the Beast uh, 40 and Over Mile. And that's all at 6th and Main downtown. It starts at 6.15 p.m. Well, that sounds great. Always a you know, great cause to remind guys to get out and you know, make sure that you're keeping up with the whole prostate thing. Totally, yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. You know, <laughs> kind of one of those, okay, moving on. Right. <laughs> Tell me about the circus, quick. <laughs> Um, so yeah, also on Friday, running through Sunday, is the El Cora Shrine Circus. Um, so it should be a super fun circus at the Quest Arena, and there's also going to be a parade that's kicking things off on Saturday, so it starts at 10 a.m. at the El Cora Shrine. Uh, and then the circus is going on Friday night at 7.30, and then Saturday and Sunday at both 4 and 7 p.m. And uh, if you visit boiseweekly.com and click on promo, you can have a chance to win tickets to that. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Now, the parade, is that the guys like driving the little cars and yeah, stuff? I hope so. i got to see that one. <laughs> All right, sounds cool. Yeah, so also coming up on Saturday up at Bogus is a summer stargazing party, which should be super cool. It's uh, the Boise Astronomical Society is going to have some telescopes up there. Uh, they encourage you to bring uh, blankets and uh, jackets because it might get a little bit cold, but it's a free family event. starts at 7 p.m. and goes till midnight. How exciting is that, stargazing yeah. up at Bogus? I know, it sounds really fun. Yeah, way cool. Uh, and then sort of wrapping things up this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday is the Boise Rec Fest, which was a lot of fun last year if you went out to that. Oh, um, yeah. And it's just going to be uh, tons of different recreational activities, everything from bikes to boards to bocce ball. Uh, and they're going to have two stages set up with both local and touring bands. Um, everyone from Boy Eats Drum Machine to Finn Riggins to Boise Rock School to the Dance Arts Academy. So should be a really fun-packed uh, couple days, and that runs Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5. You know, that's what makes Boise so exciting. You've got, you know, the outdoor rec fest, you've got the Shrine Circus, and right. stargazing up at the mountain. It's like, I know, all on the same day. I think that's why we're all here. Yeah. Tara, thank you so much. Thanks, Brad. We'll wish you a great weekend, and now we'll check in.